This is Matthew Cratter from Trader University, and today I want to talk about Bitcoin, mind viruses or memes, and football, as in American football, the NFL. I include a lot of memes in my videos because I think they're a helpful way of teaching, but what I think I haven't covered, at least recently, is how important meme culture has become for investing. A meme is just like a gene. It's sort of a theoretical construct that it's a small uh small cultural unit. It's an idea or a behavior or something else that gets picked up and imitated and in this way spreads just like a, a gene spreads its DNA or a virus uh, spreads. The, the modern thinker who really coined this idea of the meme was Richard Dawkins. Here's a great quote from him. When you plant a fertile meme in my mind, you literally parasitize my brain, turning it into a vehicle for the meme's propagation analogous to a virus. Well, this is one way that Bitcoin has definitely been spreading in 2020. I think looking back, we will realize that Bitcoin was actually the more important virus in 2020. We have YouTubers, celebrities like KSI tweeting about Bitcoin. And this is how Bitcoin spread. The price goes up. The price goes up. More people hear about it. Celebrities tweet about it. This is one of the ways that it spreads. And I think that's one of the things that makes this so, this story about the Panthers, Russell Okung, becoming the first uh, NFL player to be paid in Bitcoin. I think that's what makes this story so important that because it simply puts Bitcoin on the map for a lot of people who have never heard of it before. When Okung, uh, he first tweeted this back in May of 2019 saying, pay me in Bitcoin, really, really ahead of the curve here. He, uh, he talks about when he told his, uh, he asked the executive vice president at the Chargers if he could get paid in Bitcoin. And the, the response of this guy was, uh, what the heck is Bitcoin? So now, thanks to Russell Okung, a lot more people certainly know what Bitcoin is now. And this helps to spread uh, the idea of Bitcoin, the meme of Bitcoin. So here's his tweet, uh, first tweet in May 2019, pay me in Bitcoin. December 29th, got paid in Bitcoin. Russell Okung seems to know more about finance and more about Bitcoin than a lot of uh, real finance people, quote unquote, real finance people. Peter Schiff still tweeting that Bitcoin is a Ponzi scheme. Someone like Eric Townsend talking about how pathetic Bitcoin is. But if you, you can actually learn more from Russ's uh, Twitter feed, Russell Okung's uh, tweets. You can talk about... Uh, 15 hours ago, you can make X a year and watch it slowly erode with inflation, or you can protect your hard-earned money with Bitcoin. If you think elections are rigged, wait until you learn about the US dollar, etc. Uh, when we're all paid in Bitcoin, no one can tell us what to do uh, with the value that we create. So very smart guy. And uh, it's interesting as well how he was paid, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. If you're finding this video helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. So he's using a service called Strike that uh, is built on the Lightning Network, which is sort of a secondary layer that works on top of Bitcoin, the uh, primary layer. And this, the Lightning Network has lower fees, etc. I haven't really gone into the technical details of it on this channel yet, but I hope to do that. Strike was founded uh, by a very smart guy. We definitely want to keep our eyes on Jack Maulers. Uh, very young, very smart, and uh, this was a huge coup for his company, getting Russell Okung to accept part of his paycheck in Bitcoin. So the way this happens is the team pays Okung. They send uh, fiat dollars. I guess he gets paid $13 million a year. Not too bad. And uh, the team basically sends the money to Strike, which is this company. Strike will convert half of it into Bitcoin uh, because he's just, because Russell's decided to have half of his salary paid in Bitcoin, half of it will be converted into Bitcoin, and then the Bitcoin will be sent to Okung's cold storage wallet and uh, presumably just sit there. This is very smart. There's so many professional athletes who squander a fortune uh, on uh, gambling and uh, uh, sort of crazy living or just in, in more likely even in bad investments. And so this guy is a really good role model for people in the NFL. We would expect it to see this start to spread as well to the NBA and other sports leagues in the U.S. 
and worldwide as more and more people hear about it. This is how Bitcoin continues to spread. The fact that the price keeps going up uh, begets a virtuous circle where more and more people hear about it, more and more celebrities hear about it and start tweeting about it. And people like Russell Okung continue to push it forward. And so people who follow the Panthers may not be the same people who have been following Bitcoin in Silicon Valley or Austin or somewhere like that. So this really opens up Bitcoin to a whole new crowd. Now that you can purchase it using PayPal or using the Cash App, definitely making it easier for people. Finally, to conclude, I would just want to point out that in spite of all the propaganda from Bitcoin Cash, you can see that celebrities are not treating are, are not tweeting about Bcash. Uh, one of the big problems with Bcash, uh, Bcash, apart from the fact that it has uh, very low demand for its block space, is just the memes are extremely bad too. It's very hard to distinguish uh, yourself from Bitcoin. Bitcoin, this is one of the things it has. It has the miners. It has the full nodes. It has the legendary founder, Satoshi, who disappeared. And it also has this incredible uh, meme culture, which coins like Bcash uh, are, do not have. So in spite of all this, Bitcoin continues to hit new highs. Not a bubble, not a Ponzi, just a way for an ordinary NFL player to take home his six and a half million dollars in non-fiat payments. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe and like button. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.